What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent Physiques of Greatness. And it's morning time, man. And, and um, over here at Metroflex Fort Worth, also known as the castle. And I'm waiting on Sandra. She's probably already here, honestly. She's usually at the gym before me. I'm about to go record. Been a while since record together. Really excited. We're training back. One of my favorite body parts of train. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a good workout, man. You know, before I go in, you already know, uh, you know, new subscribers probably going to ask. I'm rocking that About That Life hoodie. Fitted. Made to hug the sleeves. Now, you know, sleeve hugging is going to vary person to person. Don't be emailing me talking about it. ain't hugging your sleeves. It's going to vary person to person now. All right? But it's hugging the sleeves. It's fitted. And, uh, you know, get it from BeastModeJonesCoaching.com. You know, tank top, pumpchasers.com. Fuck with it, man. And I appreciate y'all, all y'all out there around the world supporting me, man, because nothing is possible without y'all. Also, let me thank Denise. I, Everything I got going on, believe it or not, could not be possible without Denise's support. She record, she helped me record my video. She's holding the camera right now. She, she helps cook my meals, helps me ship clothes. I mean, everything. She's like my backbone, man. Everything that's going on she's really helping me really supporting me and i honestly couldn't do it without you so Jenny, so thank you for waking up early in the morning i know you don't want to be up <laughs> but i'm pretty sure everybody watching this video is going to appreciate you i could have easily just brought the camera myself you know i hold the camera for sandra she hold the camera for me but i think y'all like to see that real interaction you know so i really i'm really grateful you came and record this video so without too much more talking let's go fuck some shit up yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good now. All right, homies and homies. Here we are, the homie, Sandra Perez. Hey, guys, what's up? And you already know who it is, Chris Jones. I'm about to go kill it. Now, for those of you who may or may not know, Sandra got a child. It is growing pretty fast. I told you she had potential, man. I'm excited. Tell them the child name. Sandra Perez. No, keeping it simple. And look at the description. Look at my description yeah. box. I'm gonna have the link to our channel in the description. Instagram. Take care and care less. Hey man, make sure you follow her, man. And tell me, y'all, uh, she just got sponsored, right? Yes, I did. Tell them about what company? Uh, my protein. So if you type in, um, I guess Chris can put the link down yeah. in the description box. Just click on it, shop, get whatever you want, and you will get receive 20% off, which is pretty cool. Yes, so, man. They're doing great things, man. I told y'all we're gonna be doing great things. We're about to get warmed up. We're about to fuck shit up. <laughs> y'all stay tuned. All right, homies and homets. So, as you see, we're jumping out the back routine with some dumbbell pullovers. Now, as you may or may not know, if you're new to the channel or not, my back is like my best body part on my upper body. Doesn't really need a lot of work. I simply train back hard as fuck because I like to train hard as fuck. But uh, I put my weak points as a priority. And, you know, I feel like serratus could use a little more work. So I start off with dumbbell pullovers because I noticed after I get done working out, doing all those heavy rows for the hoes and all that shit, I'm so tired. Sometimes I'll just skip the shit. So I figured just do it first and get it out the way. All right. So after we do dumbbell pullovers, decide to go ahead and do some rope straight on pull downs for the same reason. Trying to bring up that serratus and it's really going to contract the lats. Now on the dumbbell pullovers, you're going to notice, you know, you might get a good stretch, but your lats don't really contract that well. So I feel like it's a good idea to do a variation of both, which is why like on my program, the push pull leg program, you'll notice on the um, pull day A, you have like the cable pull downs, and like on a pull day B, you do dumbbell pullovers. It's very important to do both, in my opinion. So, you know, because there's benefits to doing free weights and there's benefits to doing cables, you know. So, you want the best of both worlds, always good idea to mix it up. But anyway, dumbbell pullovers, we did straight off pull downs with the rope, and then we finished off with some more straight off pull downs with the bar. So, that's three total. And now we're actually beginning the workout. That wasn't shit. Some of y'all probably like, damn, that's, that looks tired. No, that's the fucking warm up. Now we're working out. All right, so right here, we did four intense sets. And as you see, we're going to complete failure. 
Once I reach failure, Sandra spots me for about two or three me- uh, two or three reps. As you see, pump chases straps. Ladies, be looking out. Fellas, be looking out. They're coming very soon. I've already put the order in. I've already gave the okay to my people. We'll let, let these straps are coming in very soon. But anyway, so we're over here doing our four wide grip pull down sets to failure. Like I said, once we reach failure, we'll help each other get about two or three more. Complete failure sets. And then we decided to go ahead and do four sets of reverse grip pull downs. The reverse grip is really going to help you get deep, deep into those lats. And you may feel it in your biceps just a little bit, depending on how long your arms are, you know, your mind-muscle connection. All those things play a part when it comes to training, man. But me personally, I don't feel it a whole lot in my biceps unless you do a super stupid close grip which are chin-ups, not reverse grip pull-downs. But anyway, so after we finished our pull-down motions, we decided to go ahead and get into those rows. Rows for the hoes. We're looking to help that back thickness. I decided today to start from the bottom and then go to the top. And what I mean is we started with the lats and low, low pull-downs. Look at that. See how we squat low and we pull our hands low? We're trying to get deep into the lower part of our lats. And as you see, we stretch before we pull back. A lot of people be doing fucking dumbbell rows or cable rows like they're cranking a fucking lawnmower. You really have to control the negative and stretch the muscle and pull back with control if you really want to feel it. Then, decide to go ahead and do some seated rows. I love this handle right here. Perfect handle to do rows in my opinion if your gym has it and you're going to notice it's going to hit those lats but also it's going to hit those traps if you pull all the way back don't do a whole bunch of half rep bullshit be sure to subscribe to beast mode training camp my second channel i got a lot of tutorials coming and y'all already know how i do my tutorials i give it to you from the soul so you want to learn about form and how to get that mind muscle connection and how to make the shit work Subscribe to Beast Mode Training Camp. But yeah, we like I said, we started from the bottom and went to the top. We did one arm cable rows low to get the lower lats. Then we did seated cable rows to get the lats and traps. And now we're finishing off with upper back. And as you see, we're leaning on a, on our chest pad right here. I already made the video Saturday, so if you're watching this video, which is Monday, go back to Saturday's video. I pretty much gave you an exact reason why I'm doing this. And I pretty much explained some shit. So if you really want to understand why I'm doing this and how to do this, go to Saturday's video. It's called Upper Back Tip Technique. So go ahead and check that out. But anyway, we start off with uh, four sets of double failure. What we do is 10 reps, 8 to 10 reps, real strict toward our chest leaning on this bench. And as soon as we reach failure, we immediately stand up and we do about eight to 10 more reps or however many you can do to complete failure and it's okay to cheat. All right, so we do 10 strict reps and then we do 10 reps however the fuck we get it up. And that's gonna take that upper back to complete failure. Anyway, so after we did our back, we went ahead into the hammer dumbbell curls, just two exercises for biceps. All right, keep in mind on, on back day, your biceps are heavily worked you don't gotta do a full blown bicep routine on a back day. All right, so we did hammer curls to hit the long head of the bicep, the outside head. And this right here is a double failure set as well. What you do is you do about eight to 10 reps sitting down as strict as you possibly can do. And then you immediately stand up and you do alternating curls to failure. So we did about eight to 10 reps sitting down and about eight to 10 reps each arm standing up. And this right here is the last exercise of the day. The dumbbell preacher curls with a twist. As you see, see the bicep working and twisting and peaking. That's how you do it, baby, strict curls. We'll talk about that later on the second channel if you're interested. And that's it for the workout right here.
So as I was about to leave the gym, Marco here asked me what I posed with him, and I was like, fuck it, man. It's been a while since so I did a little pose in practice. Now, posing is not really about showing off your muscles. Actually, man, it's really a good, crucial part of your training. If you want those hard, striated, mature-looking muscles, you really should pose at least two times a week, man. It's really going to help you build a connection with your muscles. How many of you guys can do a lat spread? How many of you guys can make your calves flex without stepping on your tippy toes? Things like that you will learn through posing constantly year after year. Build a connection with your body. I can flare one lat at a time. I can, you know, pop, make my traps pop from the back. You learn these little things when you practice posing. Build a connection with your body. And like I said, it's going to make your muscles hard and striated looking when you're lean. So be sure to practice your posing, guys, and I may go ahead and throw in some posing tips down the line. I am getting a little fat, and I really don't like doing posing videos when I'm bulking, but I might do that for y'all anyway. Just stay tuned. All right, homies and homies, as y'all see, <laughs> we just got done fucking shit up. Shit. Obviously. Don't forget, follow my <laughs> homie right here. Take care and care less. Show me some love. Follow her on YouTube. Sandra Perez. Links in the description. First female pump chasers athlete right here. <laughs> Be looking out for the samples coming very, very soon. Once we approve them and their quality and their GAF, you will see pictures of her wearing the shit. Oh, yeah. Are Don't forget, you are my protein shopper. Use her link. If you're going to shop there anyway, might as well make sure she gets taken care of. So when you use her link and use her code, she gets a little something. You know what I mean? So make sure you take care of the home right. This is family right here, man. Y'all remember her a year ago when she first came? Kind of shy. On those yeah. workouts. You need to delete that video. Because I watched it, I was like, oh my you know, god. No, you need to keep that. You can look back. Okay, you're right. You're kind of right. shy. I was very excited. Hippie workout. Now she's high volume. Got her own channel. It's growing good. She's comfortable on camera. Getting sponsorship offers. Mm. I couldn't be any more happy, man. I'm I couldn't be any more happy. You know what I mean? So congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Family right here, man. Support the homie right here, man. More videos are coming together. I just been real busy. I read the comments. I read the fucking hippie comments, we man. We read all of your comments. We have no problem. Oh, Believe it or not, we do have lives outside of YouTube. You know, I have like five jobs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like my shit. Comment. Subscribe. And, and your boy. And